Hello everybody, Dr. Brad Nelson here. It is uh, just right around 3 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time and I'm going to be doing some live demos here using the new Body Code. Uh, for those of you that are new, I'm uh, Dr. Bradley Nelson. I'm the author of the Body Code, creator of, uh, well, the creator of the Body Code, the author of the uh, Emotion Code, and uh, also the author of this uh, Discover Healing app, which contains both the Emotion Code and the Body Code which we're gonna be taking a look at today. So I wanna thank you all for joining us and um, let's take a look here. We actually have a volunteer and this is Samantha. So hello, Samantha. Hi. All right, so Samantha, tell us what's going on uh, with you and why you volunteered today. So I started having um, pain at the top of my right hand and to my wrist. It randomly started three years ago, and ever since, I haven't been able to do yoga or, you know, even a plank position to do any workouts to do with my wrist. Hmm. And, it, yeah, it, it feels like it's getting worse. Um, the doctor said it could be either carpal tunnel or the one that kind of scared me was arthritis. Sorry, the one that kind of scared you was what? She said it, might, it could be arthritis. Okay. Mm -hmm. how, yeah. old, how old are you? I'm 30. You're 30. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to grab a piece of paper really quick. I forgot to set one out so I can take notes. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Okay. So you're saying it's the, uh, you've got this discomfort going on. It's in the right wrist, correct? Yeah. Mostly the top of my hand. Like right here. Okay, mostly top of the hand, okay. And this has been going on now for how long? Almost three years. Three years, and how, on a zero to 10 scale, as far as how bad this hurts, zero being it doesn't hurt at all, and 10 being I can't stand the pain, uh, how would you rate it? I would say an eight. It's about an eight, okay, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty significant, that's right up there. Yeah. So, okay. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. Now, what we're going to be doing, for those of you that are new to this, um, this is energy healing, and energy healing uh, knows no barrier of distance, okay? So um, it's not like you actually have to be there physically. You can do this with your friends and your loved ones, your family members and so on, people that you care about, and they can be anywhere, literally anywhere on the planet. And so, so just out of curiosity, uh, Samantha, where are you in the world? I'm in California. Okay, in California. All right. Not that it makes any difference. You could be, you know, anywhere on the planet. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a moment. This healing work, the emotion code and the body code that are contained in this new Discover Healing app, um, came about during all the years that I was in practice. I was searching in every place that I could. Um, reading everything I could, new stuff, old stuff, uh, ancient stuff, trying to figure out how to help my patients. And uh, I was also praying a lot and asking for guidance. And so, um, so that's really how all of this came about. So um, what we like to do, I've come to the conclusion that the highest duty of the healer is to act as a go-between for the higher power. So what I like to do before we start is I like to just take a moment and just ask for some help so we can have that help from that higher power. You okay with that, Samantha? Sounds okay. good. Okay, cool. So just give me a moment here. All right, cool. So I'm going to be using um, this method of testing here, okay, that uh, we call the ring and ring test. And I think you can see that on there. And um, so what will happen is as I'm asking questions, uh, your subconscious mind will respond energetically. My energy field will change, yes or no. My energy field will be balanced or will imbalance slightly for about three seconds if the answer coming from your subconscious mind is a no. And so we're going to use this to get information from your subconscious about what's really going on with you. So again, uh, what you'll see here is if the answer that uh, is coming from your subconscious mind to mine is a yes, then these rings will tend to stay together. Uh, when I pull the rings uh, apart and you see them break apart, that means the answer is no, because my body's a little bit weaker, okay? So here we go. Let's go to our uh, body code. 
and um, there's my phone, okay? And so what we're looking at right here is what I'm seeing on my phone, all right? This is the body code uh, that is contained in the Discover Healing app, which contains not only the body code, but also the emotion code. It's all built into the same app. The app is called the Discovered Healing app, okay? Because uh, it contains everything. So we're gonna start on this page, all right? And uh, your subconscious mind knows if there is an underlying reason, <coughs> excuse me, for this problem that you've been having. And uh, so let's ask your subconscious mind, is there an underlying reason for this problem that you've been having with your, with your hand? And the answer coming from your subconscious mind is yes, that's strong. So now we know that your subconscious mind has an idea, it has an issue, it has a, an imbalance in mind. Now we're gonna see if we can track down that imbalance and see what it is, okay? So let's see. Uh, we're basically gonna now play charades with your subconscious to figure out this first imbalance. Now there may be several imbalances, I don't know. Uh, I just work here, but let's see what your subconscious <laughs> mind says. Now what you're looking at here are the six main categories of, of imbalances. These six categories encompass all of the imbalances that happen to us as human beings. And so, um, so really all of the, the symptoms that we suffer from in our lives, whether they're mental or emotional or physical, have their origin in imbalances that are identifiable in these six areas, okay? So uh, these are six nodes, we like to call them, in the body code. There are about a thousand, right around a thousand different nodes in the body code, but, but the subconscious mind can take us there really easily. So uh, let's take just one moment here and say hello to everybody. So uh, we've got uh, Deborah. Hello to Deborah and hello Kathy and uh, Vivienne in the in London in the UK and Emmanuel and uh, right, we're glad that you guys are joining us and uh, Karina is coming in from Germany. We've got lots of people uh, on our on our call today from all over the place. So I want to thank all of you. We'll just, we can't say hello to everybody, but we'll, we'll start there. So hello to those of you that, uh, that are on the top of the list there. Thank you for joining. And so now let's take a look and let's ask uh, this first imbalance. Um, where is it on our chart? Uh, this first thing that is contributing to this problem in your uh, hand, is it on the right side of our chart? That's a no. So your, this is your subconscious mind talking to my subconscious mind saying, no, it's not on the right side. That means it's on the left side. So is it an energy of some kind? No. Is it something in circuits or systems? No. The next thing is a toxin and that's where it is. So let's go to toxin. Remember again, what you're seeing is what I'm seeing on my phone. So I'm going to touch on the bottom left on toxins and it brings up another map for us. And this is your subconscious mind walking us to this issue. Now, I have no idea what this issue is. I, I have no idea. But anything can cause anything. That's the old saying of the holistic physician. So let's see what this is. Is this something, uh, this imbalance, is it on the left side of this chart? And the answer is no. So is it a heavy metal of some kind? It could be, it could be anything, but it's not that. Uh, is it an excess of some kind? Is that it? No. Uh, is it electromagnetic radiation of some kind? Okay, that's, that's strong. See, that's a yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch on that one right there, electromagnetic radiation. Let's see what shows up. So we get six different possibilities here. Uh, is this something on the left side of the chart? Yes. Uh, is it dirty electricity? It is. So dirty electricity, what the heck is that? Well, all you have to do is touch that little node and it gives you the whole explanation. So four primary sources of electromagnetic fields, etc. voltage spikes from appliances, computers, etc. Dirty electricity. So let's ask about this. We're going to go down to the decoding area and let's ask, do we need to know any details about this? In other words, does your subconscious mind need for us to bring more information to conscious awareness about this? And your subconscious mind actually says no. So um, let's get down to association. Is there an associated imbalance that, um, uh, let's see, that we need to decode? And the answer there is yes. So there's something that's connected with this. Okay, and uh, what I found during all those years in practice trying to help people who were so hopelessly sick for so many years was that um, sometimes there are causes of causes, okay? Um, 
And that's kind of like if you take your car into a mechanic because your check engine light's on and your engine's out of oil, um, well, that would be the problem, wouldn't it? But maybe there's a reason for that problem. Maybe maybe you ran over a curb or something and your, the bottom of your engine has a hole in it and that's why all your oil leaked out. Well, you'd have to fix that too, right? So there's really kind of two problems. In this case, there's something else associated with this. Okay, so let me just make some notes here. And let's go back out to the home page of the body code and let's see if we can figure out what this associated imbalance is. Is it something listed on the left side here of the body code? No. So it's on the right side. Is it a pathogen of some kind? No. Is it a misalignment? Yes, it's a misalignment. So let's go there. So now really any tissue in the body can misalign. Now I started out as a doctor of chiropractic, okay, and um, had great results just working with people and realigning bones, mainly the bones in the spine. As time went on, I found that any bone can become misaligned. And then I found that any tissue can become misaligned. And uh, then I found out that um, usually if you have some kind of misaligned bone or tissue, that's usually not the problem. The problem is usually something else. So let's see what shows up here. Uh, is it something on the left side of this chart? Now remember, we're asking your subconscious. It's communicating to me, and any of you can do this. Is it something on the left side? No. So is it something in the systems area? No. Is it something in the skeleton? It is. So we'll go to the skeleton area, okay? And we divide the skeleton up into two sides, okay, or into two parts, appendicular and axial. And uh, you don't need to know any of this, see, when, you, when you're using the body code, because the subconscious mind will take you to where you need to go. It's way, way smarter than any of us anyway. So is this something in the appendicular skeleton? It is. So let's go there. Okay. So is it something in the lower limbs? It could be, but it's not. So it's in the upper limbs. Is it something on the left side of this chart? Yes. So is this a wrist or a hand bone? Yes. Okay. Well, is it a bone that's in the hand? No, it's a wrist bone. So let's look at the wrist bones. We've got all these little bones in the wrist. Okay. There are eight of them. Is it one of these on the left side? No. So we'll start at the top on the right. Is it the scaphoid bone? No. Is it the lunate bone? Yes. So your lunate bone is out of alignment. Now, interesting. Your subconscious mind took us to dirty electricity, right? <laughs> but then it's saying, well, this is connected with this. The, uh, and I'm assuming this, is, this bone is on the right side. Um, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's your right lunate bone. You might not have even realized that you have a lunate bone. Most people don't unless they've taken anatomy or, you know, are in that sort of field. But you've got a little bone in the wrist that is not happy, okay? And so uh, if we touch that bone, then we get some more information here. And we can ask, all right, um, we know it's on the right side. So the decoding, that's, that's pretty much done. Is there an associated imbalance that needs to be decoded? And guess what? There is. So, there's something else happening. So that little bone in your wrist is not happy, but there's some other thing connected with that. So let's go back to the homepage. And what are we looking for? Is it something on the left side? Yes. Is it uh, left upper? So it's in the energies area. It is, let's go there, okay. And is it on the left side of this chart here? No, it's on the right side. Is it an allergy um, or an intolerance? No. Something emotional, that's strong. So let's go there. And is it something on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it a trapped emotion? Actually, that's the first one. It is. So we'll go there. So there are six different kinds of trapped emotions, really. Uh, they can occur, you'll see at the top, uh, when you're in the womb. So we call them prenatal trapped emotions. Preconception, that's before you're conceived. Inherited, you receive at conception from mom or dad. And then there's some other ones on the right, absorbed, shared. We can share trapped emotions sometimes. And then there's common trapped emotions, which are the most they're the most common. They're the kind that you pick up from the time that you know, you're born and so on. So let's ask about this. Um, is, this is this emotion uh, on the left side of this chart? No. So it's on the right side. So is this a common trapped emotion or a shared or an absorbed? It's an absorbed trapped emotion. Okay. So we can touch there. And basically what it's going to tell us is, that, um, is how to find this thing. So you'll notice down at the very bottom of the chart, uh, there's a little picture, it looks like a window pane, four little squares. If we touch that, it takes us to the emotion code chart, okay? So we know that you absorbed this emotional energy from somebody. Let's see what the emotion is. 
Is it listed in the chart here in column A? No, so it's in column B. Is it in one of the odd rows? Yes. Is it in row one? No. Is it in row three? Yes, it's in row three, column B. Row three, column B, so I'll touch that, and you'll see that it actually brings it up and kind of helps us to, you know, to keep our place. It's confusion, defensiveness, grief, self-abuse, or stubbornness. Now you absorb this from somebody else, and it's affecting, apparently, um, that bone in the wrist. So what is this? Is it confusion? No. Is it defensiveness? No. Is it grief? It's grief. So that's the emotion you absorbed, an emotional energy of grief. Now, what this means is that somebody, probably somebody that you were close to or connected to in some way, was feeling that emotion powerfully at some point, and you actually absorbed that. And it's part of this situation with your wrist or your hand. So let's ask, do we need to know anything else about this? We don't really. So uh, if we did, we could figure out if it was a male or a female and when and so on. But in this case, your subconscious mind doesn't care if we need, if we, you know, it doesn't care for us. We don't have to dig deeper. So let's go ahead and release that with just a few swipes over the head. And now let's go back. And uh, we had found that that bone, that lunate bone, right, was imbalanced. And so uh, if we go back to the, uh, the bones of the wrist, um, we can ask if that bone is balanced now, and actually uh, it is. And so we release that absorbed emotion of grief. We did, okay. All right, good. So what I'd like you to do now is um, just, you know, move your hands around a little bit, roll that hand around a little bit, and let's see how that's feeling now compared to how it was feeling before. It was about an eight before. It still hurts, it hurts a bit, but not, not as, as much, much as before. before. Okay, how would you rate it now, just out of curiosity, zero to 10? I would say a five. About a five, okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got it down to a five, okay. Okay, cool. So um, now you'll notice how we found this was we found dirty electricity, number one, then that bone that was misaligned, and then that absorbed emotion. So it was kind of a chain, or they were, they were associated somehow. Let's ask, do we need to do anything about that dirty electricity that we found? Do we need to do anything there? No, so that's, that's kind of your subconscious mind just raising its hand and telling you, hey, be, a, be aware, be advised that being around sources of electricity or being around a lot of electrical currents and things could be, it's something that your body doesn't like, okay? So, um, all right, so let's go back out to the homepage on the body code and let's ask, okay, is there another underlying reason um, for this trouble that you've been having in your wrist and hand? And the answer is yes, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's your subconscious mind to mine, okay? So uh, let's see, your subconscious mind, when we're connected, when I'm acting as proxy for you, those changes take place in instantly. There's no delay uh, whatsoever. So, but there's another reason, okay? So that was just the first reason. It took us from an eight to a five. What's the next reason? Is it on the right side of the body code chart? No. So it's on the left side. So is it something in the energies area? No. Is it in circuits and systems? That's a yes. So we'll go to circuits and systems on the left side in the middle. And now we've got six more options. And so, all right, where does your subconscious mind want us to go here? Uh, is it on the left side? No. Is it an organ um, imbalance or a gland imbalance or something in the energy body? It's in the energy body, so we'll go there. So is it something on the left side here? No. So is it a chakra or a meridian? It's actually a meridian. So we'll go to the meridians. And we've got main meridians and extraordinary meridians. And let's see if it's, is it one of these on the left? It is, so we go to there. It's one of the main meridians. So is it one of these on the left side? Yes. Okay, uh, is it spleen, kidney, liver, gallbladder? It's the gallbladder meridian. So we touch that meridian and, uh, or that icon, and then what it shows us, okay, on our device, is all of this information about this particular meridian, okay? So, hmm, interesting. Let's take a look at this. Let's ask which side of the body this is on. Is this on the left side of the body? No, it's on the right side. So we're gonna make a note of that, right gallbladder meridian. So this meridian is not quite happy. It's not really balanced for some reason. So let's ask, uh, is there an associated imbalance that needs to be decoded? Yes, 
So there's something else connected with this. So let's go back out to the home page. All right, and let's ask, okay, um, what's associated with this? Is it something on the left side of our chart here? No. So is it a pathogen of some kind? No. Is it a misalignment of something? Actually, it's a misalignment of something. So that's shown up again. Hmm. Okay, so is it a misalignment of something on the left side of the chart here? No. Is it something in systems? Yes, let's go there. Is it something on the left side of this chart? No. So is it circulatory system, digestive, digestive system? Let's go there. So is it something on the left side of this chart? That's a no. Is it liver? No. Colon? No. Esophagus? No. Gallbladder? Yes. Okay, so there's your gallbladder is showing up as being misaligned. So there's something going on there. Um, so, hmm, gallbladder misaligned. You never know what you're going to find with the body code, right? <laughs> you never know what you're going to see. But um, if we look at the gallbladder here, you can see um, some of the interesting things about this. Right knee discomfort, right shoulder. Now, of course, the right shoulder, um, of course, is part of this whole arm. And so, you know, we can't list everything, but they, there could be a connection there. So is there an associated imbalance that needs to be decoded for this? Not really. So what we'll do, like it says at the bottom here, I'm going to swipe three times, okay, with a magnet or my hand on any length of the governing meridian, which is a little meridian that starts the tailbone, goes up over the top of the head, putting a few swipes into that meridian while holding an intention to correct this misalignment in your gallbladder, right? Okay, so what I'd like you to do now, first of all, let's ask, is your gallbladder um, balanced now? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and stand up and move around a little bit, okay? Okay. So, um, okay. Move your hand around a little bit. Let's see how your hand is feeling now compared to how it was feeling before. And we'll come back and check that meridian. So I can, I can stretch it more down this way. And okay. I wasn't really before. This side, it still hurts a little bit, like pressure. Okay. But going down this way feels a little better. Okay, cool. So zero to 10, how would you rate it? Um, I would still say it's stuck in the four or five. Okay, about a four or five. All right. Let's yeah. ask... Did we correct that gallbladder uh, meridian imbalance? We did, okay, so that's good. So now let's move on and let's see if there's another imbalance going on. Let's go back to the homepage on the body code. And is there another underlying reason for this trouble that you've been having with your hand? And the answer is yes. So what's the next reason? Is it on the left side here of the body code? I get a no on that. So it's on the right side. Is it a pathogen of some kind? No. Is it a misalignment of something? It is, it's a misalignment. So let's go there. And is it a misalignment of something on the left side? No. Okay, so is it system? No. Skeleton? Skeleton. So we'll go there. And is it appendicular skeleton? No. So it's on the right. It's the axial skeleton. So, all right, let's see. Is it something on the left side here? Yes. So is it something in the vertebral column? No. It's something in the skull. So let's go to the skull. So all the bones are in here. So let's see what this is. Is this a bone? On the left side of our chart, no. So it's on the right side. Is it the uh, frontal bone? <clears throat> no. Is it one of the parietal bones? No. One of the temporal bones? No. So the only one left is the occipital bone, and that's it. So I'm going to make a note here. It's the occipital bone. That bone is not happy. It's imbalanced. Okay? So... Uh, Let's take a look here, occipital bone, and let's touch that and let's ask, okay, is there an associated imbalance? We already know that bone is not happy. Now, if I were there with you, okay, and um, if, if I were to touch that bone at the back, right at the base of your skull, if you were to hold your arm out, you would not be able to resist my downward pressure. It would make your whole body go weak. That bone is not happy. So is there an associated imbalance that needs to be decoded? The answer is yes. Let's go back to the home page, and uh, we're looking for the underlying cause, essentially, or we're looking for something that's connected to this that's probably an underlying cause of it. Is it something on the right side? No, it's on the left. Is it an energy? It is. So we're going to go to the energies area, top left, 
And is it something on the left side? Yes. Uh, is it something post-traumatic? Yes. So we're going to go to that one. And is it something on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it a physical trauma? No. So this is a physical emotional shock that is misaligning this bone way back here. So let's see. A physical emotional shock. Let's touch this one and see what it says. Now, in this new version of the uh, the body code, which is contained in this Discover Healing app, there are no uh, there are no dead ends. So, no matter where you go, you're going to get an explanation, kind of like this one, that explains what this is. So, check this out. Physical emotional shock energy is a vibrational frequency that may become stuck in the body during during an emotionally shocking event that is severe enough to exert a shock or extreme stress on the physical body. So it's kind of like um, getting hit with really bad news or some, some really intense thing happens and your body interprets it almost like a physical blow that you've taken. So does anything come to mind? Yeah, two, yeah, two things. things. Two things, okay. Yeah. You think about the first one or think about one of them and we'll test it. Let me know when you got it. I got it. Okay, so is that what created this? No. Try the next one. Okay. Okay. Is that that's the one that created this? Okay. So, do you want to share? You don't have to. That's one of the nice um, things about this. You can. I keep guess. It I guess when it when it uh, when it first started was when I gave birth to my son three almost three years ago. Okay. Um, and I think I got uh, I needed a blood transfusion, and you know I got really bad anxiety that they had to keep giving me uh, medicine to keep calming me keep me calm mm -hmm. and I think that freaked me out a lot. Um, that I, I could be it. Okay. Um, is that it? I, I get a yes that that's it. So, um, all right. So let's go back to the, um, let's, let's take a look at this as we continue. Is there an associated imbalance that um, needs to be decoded for this? Not really. So let's go ahead. We'll swipe three times. Okay. To release this energy, this physical emotional shock energy. Okay. And you know, if you do more than three, that's fine. Three is plenty. Um, okay, cool. So let's see if we release that and we did. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and stand up now, move around a little bit. Let's see how that's doing. So that physical emotional shock energy was actually imbalancing or misaligning the occiput, which is that bone at the very, very base of the skull, right at the very top of the cervical spine. All right, so move your hand around a little bit now. Let's see how things are doing now compared to how they were doing before. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it, it's way less. I would okay. say like a two now. It's like a two. All right. Yeah. Pretty Hasn't been good. like this in a long time. Okay, awesome. Well, let's let's do one more and see if we can get you to a zero. <laughs> you ready? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we were at an eight. So getting to a two, that's a significant change, right? Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah. So the, the beautiful thing about the, uh, this work, see, the body code, the emotion code that are contained in this Discover Healing app is they, they enable us to really truly query the subconscious mind and get to the actual underlying roots of what the problems are, are really being caused by. In other words, what the real imbalances are that are causing our symptoms, right? So, gee, what a concept. I mean, eventually the world is going to catch on to this um, because this is uh, definitely the future. So let's ask, is there another underlying reason uh, for this trouble that you've been having in the hand? Yes, there's another reason. So your subconscious mind is going to take us there. Where's the reason? Is it on the left side of the body code? Yes. Okay. So is it in the energies area? No. Is it in circuits and systems? Yes. So we'll go there. Is it something on the left side of this chart? No. So is this an organ imbalance? Uh, is it a gland imbalance? It's in the energy body. Okay, let's go there. We were taken here once before. It was a meridian. Is this something on the left side? No. Uh, is, so it's, is it a chakra? It's a chakra. Okay, so we'll go to the chakras. So is it one of these chakras on the left side? No. So is it the solar plexus? Is it the sacral? It's the root chakra. Now, if we touch this one, it gives you lots of explanations about what the chakras are. This particular one uh, is down located in the, the area of the perineum, coccyx, tailbone. Uh, and it grounds us essentially and connects us to the earth. So let's go to association. We know the chakra is not happy or it's imbalanced. Is there an associated imbalance that we need to decode? And the answer there is yes. Okay, so let's go back to the homepage. 
Let me make a quick note here. We got root chakra. And but that's being apparently it's connected to something else. And so that that other thing, that other underlying thing, is it something on the right side of the chart? No. So is it, it's on the left. Is it an energy? It is. So let's go to the energies area at the top left. Is it one of these on the left side? No. So is it an allergy or an intolerance? No. Is it something emotional? Yes. So here we go. Is it something on the left side? Yes. Is it, uh, is it a trapped emotion? No, actually, it's a heart wall emotion then. That's all that's left. So let's go there. So heart wall emotion. Okay. So when you feel like your heart's going to break, uh, the subconscious mind will put up a wall sometimes around the heart. And it's, it's, uh, it's kind of like putting your heart, moving your heart into a bunker to keep your heart from being broken. And uh, what we found is that that, uh, we call it a heart wall, is made from layers of your emotional baggage, okay? Literally from your trapped emotions. So your, your subconscious mind is saying, hey, I've got, a, uh, I've got a heart wall emotion that we need to release. So let's see what kind of a heart wall emotion it is. Is it one of these on the left side of the chart? No. It's on the right side. Is it a common heart wall emotion? No. Is it shared or absorbed? It's also absorbed, kind of like that last one was. It's an absorbed emotion. Okay, so we know how to do the emotion code. Let's just go down to the chart on the bottom. And what emotion is this? Is it listed in the chart here in column A? No, it's in column B. Is it in one of the odd rows? Yes. Is it in row one? Yes, column B, row one. Let's go to those. Effort unreceived, heartache, insecurity, overjoy, or vulnerability. Which one is it? I don't know. Is it effort unreceived? No. Uh, is it heartache? Is that what it is? No. Is it insecurity? Yep, it's an emotion of insecurity. Now you absorb this from somebody. So let's ask, do we need to know more about this? We do. Uh, did you absorb this from a male? Yes, okay. Do we need to know more about this? No. So this was absorbed at some point in your life from, uh, from a male. And uh, did you say you were 30? Yeah. Um, just for fun here, let's figure out when this was. Did this occur earlier than age 20? Yeah. Earlier than 10? No. So between 10 to 15, around 16 or 17 or 18, 19, 20, around age 20, about 10 years ago. So I don't know if that rings any kind of a bell. We didn't really need to figure that out because your subconscious mind said we didn't really need to get, dig any deeper. But uh, let's release this now, okay? So just a few swipes, right, with a hand or a magnet. Did we release that uh, insecurity emotion? We did. Now remember, how did we find that? We found that because um, your root chakra was unhappy. It was imbalanced, and this was the cause. So let's go back and ask, is your root chakra balance now happy? Yeah, it is. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and stand up and move around a little bit again. And uh, let's see how it's feeling now compared to how it's feeling before. Yeah, I have a better range of motion. It is. It is. Okay. Yeah, it feels really good. Feels really good. Okay, cool. Do you have any discomfort in there still? Um, very tiny, not, nothing, nothing like, like how it was before. before. Nothing like how it was before. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're so welcome, right? You're so welcome. So would you say it's a zero pretty much? Yeah, I would say it's a zero. It's a zero. Well, that's what we were trying yeah. to get to was a zero. Great. Thank you. Um, that was really fun, Samantha. And hopefully, um, hopefully that'll be it and you won't have any other issues. Now, uh, if this does start to creep back in, you do start to have some more discomfort over the next few days, what do you think that might mean? Something to do with the dirty electricity or something you said? Well, it, it, not necessarily. It might mean, if it does start to come back, it'll probably mean there are just some other imbalances that need to get looked at, right? Okay. Yeah. So, you know, that's just how this works. So uh, very cool. Thank you, and uh, we'll Thank you. Uh, we'll let you we'll let you ring off, and uh, let's see here. Let us know how you do, okay? All right. Thanks. All right. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Okay. Well, that was fun. So let's see here. Um, now I want you to think about this for a second, okay? Think about uh, think about really how amazing it is what we just saw, right? Um, 
Samantha's had that problem going on for a while. It was an eight on a zero to 10 scale. We got it down to a zero. But look at the weird things we found that were the real underlying causes. Now see, the thing is, this is how our, our bodies actually work. And who knew? Who knew? I mean, um, you know, we've been raised to believe that if you've got low back pain, you need Dones pills. Or, you know, if you're depressed, well, you're, you've got a deficiency of uh, Paxil or something like that. You got neck discomfort and migraines, well, maybe you're deficient in Fiorinol or Cafragot or, you know, Vicodin or something. That's not it. I mean, I mean, medications can be great short term, right? They can be very useful. But the reality of it is um, we have a way now. We have the technology now where we can actually ask the subconscious mind what it needs and it'll tell us. Think about what a, what a cosmic, uh, amazing thing that is. And, uh, and really how truly incredible that is and how life-changing and world-changing this information truly is. Think about it now. In this day and age we're living in, you know, the, the age of the coronavirus, uh, medically, what are they talking about? Well, it's all about drugs. Drugs are always full of side effects to the body. They're always toxic to the body. They're talking about new vaccines. And don't even get me started on vaccines, how many problems they have. But... Um, Really, uh, these bodies of ours have been functioning really, really well for how long? I don't know, a long, long time. Um, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions of years, I don't know. And our bodies are used to these kinds of things. Why is it that one person dies and another person doesn't from coronavirus? Well, if your immune system is really on the ropes already and you're battling all these other diseases and you've, your body's full of imbalances, um, it's going to be a lot harder for you to battle and defeat uh, something like the coronavirus. And so it might push you over the edge, right? But this is how you find imbalances that are interfering with your body's ability to really function well. So this is really the answer, um, in my opinion. So let's take another volunteer, shall we? And let's see here. Give me just a moment and I will see if we can make this work. Let's see. Hold on. All right, let's see. Let's try talking with Patricia. Let's see here. Hang on a minute. Patricia, I'm going to say hello to you and I'm going to give you a call. And we'll see if we can bring Patricia on. Hello, Patricia. Hello. Hi. Turn on your camera, okay? Okay. Camera on. And there oh, you are. Great. Awesome. Yay. Great. Nice nice of you to join us. Thank <laughs> you. So nice to see hear you. Yeah. Great to see you and hear you too. So, Thank you. So Patricia, tell me, uh, first of all, how old are you right now? It's probably gonna come I'm, up. I'm fifty-three. Fifty-three, okay. <laughs> and where in the world are you are you uh, in the world? I'm in Los Angeles. You're in LA. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. So uh, tell us what's going on with you. Okay. So um, I had a test done the other week ago and I had MTHFR. And I think what might have happened, I mean, I'm not sure, but I think what might have happened was uh, my lower back pain started after I had a piece of pizza. <laughs> and, okay. And, it, I just kind of woke up with it that way. And, um, and and how long ago was that you broke up just? It was like eight days ago. Oh, okay, eight days ago. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you woke up and you've got this low back discomfort. And how bad is it? Zero it's like a ten. nine. It's like an eight or nine. It's an eight or a nine. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Okay, and so eight days. It's been going on for eight days. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, that gives us enough. We can get started, I think. Um, okay. Because, it's, see, it's really your subconscious mind that has all the answers. I was telling somebody the other day that one day, uh, uh, this, when I was in practice, um, a new patient had come in to see me. And, um, and I came into my office, and she was sitting in my office. I sat down at my desk, and I started looking through her file, and she'd only put her name and address in there. She hadn't filled out any of... Uh, the questions about what her problems were. 
Mm-hmm. And so, so I said, oh, there's some kind of, mis- of a mistake. You need to fill out the rest of this. And she said, no, she said, I did that on purpose. She said, I want you to tell me what's wrong. So I thought, oh, okay. Well, okay. And, I, and I was able to, I mean, you know, within reason, because the subconscious mind knows really what the imbalances are. And that's really where the game needs to be played as far as helping our bodies to function better. You see, we have this conscious mind of ours, which is where we spend all of our waking hours, right? But it's not very smart. And so we forget things all the time. And, uh, you know, we drop the ball. And But the subconscious mind is this vastly, vastly, almost infinitely intelligent part of us. And so it's, uh, it's where we go for the answers. And it knows what the, uh, what the answers actually are. So uh, give me a moment here, and I'll ask for some help from up above. Feel free to join me if you want. Thank you. Okay, cool. So let's see here. Let's ask, um, and again, I'll be using the ring and ring method. So um, on a, uh, are we connected energetically? Can I act as proxy for you? I get a yes. Okay, so that means when I ask questions, the answers will manifest on my body. All right, so here we go. So let's look at our body code and let's ask, is there an underlying reason for this back discomfort that you have going on? The answer is yes. Okay. So where's the first reason? Now, there may be several reasons, right? But right now, your subconscious mind has picked out one reason. And what is that one reason? Is it on the left side of the chart here? No. So it's on the right side. Is it a pathogen of some kind? No. Is it a misalignment? Yes. Let's go to the misalignment area. And is it something on the left side of this chart? No. So is it something in systems? No. In skeleton? So it's in the skeleton. We'll go there. And is it something on the left side of this chart? No, it's on the right, so it's the axial skeleton. Is it something on the left side? No, it's on the right. So is it one of your teeth? It could be. It could be anything, right? No. Mm -hmm. It's something in the thoracic cage. So let's go there. So is it uh, something on the left side? Yes. Is it a false rib? It is. It's a false rib. So these are the ribs that, uh, they're called false ribs because they only attach, Mm -hmm. they don't attach in two points. Uh, they don't come all the way around. They just attach at the back, and then they kind of fit there. So um, which one of these is it? Is it one of these on the left side? Yes. Um, is it the 10th rib? 11th? It's the 11th rib. Okay. So this is the first thing your body is saying. Hey, I got a problem with this rib. Now, is this rib on the right side or the left side? It's on the left side. Okay, so the left 11th rib. Okay. So, hmm. Let's go to that one and let's just look at it and let's ask, uh, we already figured out what side it's on. It's on the left side. So um, is it, um, is there an associated imbalance that we need to decode here? Yes, there is. Okay. That's your subconscious mind talking to me. So let's go back to the homepage and let's ask, okay, where is this associated thing? Probably an underlying cause, but something connected. Is it on the left side? Yes. Is it in the energies area? It is. Let's go there. So is it something on the left side of this chart? No. Uh, is it an allergy or an intolerance? No. Is it something emotional? Yes. We'll go there. All right. Is it on the left side of this chart? Yes. So is this a trapped emotion? It is. So let's go there. And is it on the left side of this chart? No. So is it a common trapped emotion? Yes. Okay. So we know how to do the emotion code. Uh, but if you don't, you can look at all the directions in here. This is designed so that you don't have to know anything about anything. But... Um, once you learn how to do the testing, and there's different ways you can do that, then it's really, really easy. So let's go to the emotion code chart. We know we have a trapped emotion. And let's see what this emotion is. Is it listed in column A? Yes. Is it in one of the odd rows? Yes. Is it in row one? Yep. So column A, row one. So we'll touch that one. Abandonment, betrayal, forlorn, lost, love and received. Now, What's cool about this is that um, if you touch any one of these, if you're not sure, for example, what forlorn means, you could touch it and it gives you the um, definition, which is kind of nice. So uh, let's see here. Okay. (laughs) Let's go back to that. So is this emotion abandonment? No. Is it betrayal? No. Is it forlorn? Actually, it is. That is the emotion. I picked that one for some reason. I must be psychic. So so the emotion is forlorn. Okay, which let's just touch that one again. Uh, Miserable and forsaken, uh, sad and lonely by reason of abandonment, desolation or emptiness, a lonely sort of hopelessness. So does that ring any kind of a bell at all? Yeah, actually I think it does, yeah. Rings a bell, all right. 
So do we need to know anything else about this? No. And so that's your subconscious mind saying, no, nah, I, I got this, just release it. So we're gonna release it now. One, two, three swipes. And let's ask, did we release that? And we did, okay. Now, can you stand up and move around a little bit? Okay, I'll try. Yeah, just go easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Kind of got me back over a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right, that's fine. Go ahead and ha sit, sit back down again. Let's ask, did that correct that, ele that left 11th rib problem? It did. Okay, so zero to 10, how would you rate it so far? My back? Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Okay. You know, I feel like I'm a little bit looser. Okay, a little looser. A bit looser. My, my, yeah, better, a little better. Okay, good. So zero to 10, how would you rate it? Was that like an uh, eight or a nine? I mean, an eight, maybe no. Maybe an eight. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So that was just the first uh, of the underlying possible reasons here. Let's ask, is there another underlying reason why you're having all this trouble? And your subconscious mind says, yep, there's a reason. So we look at our body code. Where is the next reason? See, we're playing charades with your subconscious. Where's the next reason? Is it on the left side of the chart? It is. Is it in the energy area? No. Is it in circuits and systems? Yes. So we're going to go to that one. And is it on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it a disconnection of some kind? No. Is it something in systems? Yes. It's in the systems area. So we'll go to that one. Is it on the left side of this chart? No. So is it circulatory? No. Is it digestive? No. Endocrine? No. Is it in immune or lymphatic system? No. In the microbiome? No. Is it in the nervous system? Yes. It's in the nervous system. So mm -hmm. let's go there. All right, so we divide these up. That, that's how the body could work. So, you know, we just divide things up, divide things up, and then you're able to follow the rabbit trail to where the subconscious mind wants to take you. So is this something in the central nervous system? It is. Okay, so let's go there on the left. So is it one of these, uh, is it the brain? It's the brain, so let's go to the brain. So is it something on the left side here? Yes. Is it brain stem? No. Is it uh, deep structures of the brain? It is deep structures of the brain. Hmm. So let's see here. All right. Well, you can see that this took a lot of work, right? To put all this crazy stuff. We've been working on this for a long time. So is it one of these on the left side? Yes. So is it the limbic system? No. Is it the basal ganglia? So you've got some kind of an imbalance going on affecting the basal ganglia. So let's go there. You'll notice in the body code that anytime you're taken to a picture and some text, and underneath, uh, on the left side of the text, it has like a little stack of pancakes, like a little four, four horizontal lines, or maybe three, okay. I can't tell, three or four. Uh, that means that if you touch that node, it's gonna take you to text, okay? So let's go to the basal ganglia, and uh, let's see here, all right. These are involved with processing information and planning to achieve the best outcomes and learning new habits, executing old habits, etc. What the connection is here with your low back, I don't know, but it doesn't matter because the subconscious mind knows and it's taking us there. So um, let's see here. Is there an associated imbalance that needs to be decoded? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna write this down. You've got unhappy basal ganglia for whatever reason, okay? But there's an underlying or an associated uh, cause there. So. What's associated with this? Is it something on the right side? No. Something in the energies area? Yes. So we're going to go there. And is it on the left mm -hmm. side here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it something post-traumatic? No. Is it something offensive? It's something offensive. So let's go there. Mm -hmm. So is it something on the left side of this chart? No. Uh, is it courting of some kind? Is it a post-hypnotic suggestion? It's a saboteur. Okay. Now, what is a saboteur? Well, you know how sometimes people say things like, you know, that guy really stabbed me in the back, right? Well, mm -hmm. sometimes on an energetic level, uh, that person might actually have a knife in their back. Um, it's an invisible kind of a thing. And I've seen cases where people could not get out of pain until that invisible thing was removed. So it's kind of strange. But mm -hmm. um, like it says here, saboteur is a strong negative energy that usually comes from another person um, they come from entities as well, and they're intended to wound and or sabotage the recipient. So let's take a look. It's kind of like, sometimes these are weapons, you know, like a knife or like a, a sword or an arrow or something that somebody shot into you. 
Um, let's see, do we need to know more about this saboteur? And actually we don't. So let's go down to association and we'll ask, is there an associated imbalance that we need to decode? And the answer is no. So we're gonna swipe three times to uh, release the saboteur, okay? We'll do one more just for the road here. All right, let's see here. It was a saboteur. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see, did we remove that? We did. Now that was because you had an imbalance in the basal ganglia deep in the brain. So are the basal ganglia balanced now, happy? Yeah, they're happy and balanced now. So why don't you go ahead and stand up and move around again a little bit and let's see how that feels now. Okay. I feel like it's a little less for sure. Okay, great. So zero to 10, how would you rate it now? I feel like it might be like mid sevens or something. I feel like it's definitely less pain, but still painful. But yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, no worries. We're getting there. So uh, let's see if there's another thing. Let's go back to the homepage and let's ask the same question. That's how you use the body code. You're just talking to the computer. You see the subconscious mind of the individual is the computer. It's like the most advanced Google search engine uh, in the known universe. It'll basically tell you whatever it is that uh, you're trying to figure out. So let's ask, is there another underlying reason for this discomfort in your low back? And the answer is yes, okay? So is the, is the, um, the reason on the left side of the chart, yes. Is it in the energies area? It is, so we'll go there. Top left. And is it something on the left side of this chart? No. So um, is it an allergy or an intolerance or something emotional? It's definitely something emotional. We'll go there. And is it on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it something, um, is it a trapped emotion? Then it is. Okay. So it's a trapped emotion. So is it one of these on the left side? Yes. Okay. Interesting. So is this prenatal? Uh, no. Uh, is it preconception? No. Uh, it's inherited. So this is an inherited Trapped emotion. Now again, remember, you see the little pancake stack there on the left of the verbiage, which means if you touch this node, it's gonna bring up a whole explanation, okay? So um, the, the body code app is really like an encyclopedia, uh, as well as being how you figure things out and fix things. But let's, um, let's go to the emotion code chart. We know how to do this. We've done this before. Uh, we know it's an inherited emotion. Uh, inherited trapped emotion. So is this emotion listed in the chart in column A? Uh huh. Is it in one of the odd rows? No. So is it in um, uh, row two or row four? It's in row four, column A. So here we go. Anger, bitterness, guilt, hatred, or resentment. Is it anger? No. Nah. Is it bitterness? No. Nah. Is it guilt? It's guilt. That's inherited guilt. We found this was an inherited trapped emotion, right? So let's figure out where this came from. Did you get this from your mom? No, it came from your dad. So it came from your dad. And did he get this from somebody earlier? Yes. Did he get it from his dad? Okay, so dad, dad. And does it go back further? Yes. How many generations? Does it go back 10 generations? No, nine. It goes back nine generations. Okay. Nine generations. And did this start with a male? It started with a female. Okay. Started with a female. Nine generations. So if we say nine generations times about 25.5 years for a generation, that comes out to about 229 years. Minus 2020 comes out to about 1790, give or take, right? Approximately 1790. Somebody had a bad day. One of your ancestors, <laughs> right? Felt really guilty. Who knows what they did? But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> that got passed down to you, okay? And it's part of the symptom uh, you have now. So um, do you have any kids? Yes. How many kids? One. Okay. Boy or girl? Girl. Girl. Okay. Let's ask, uh, did that daughter of yours inherit this energy from you when she was conceived? And she did. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now what, what an energy like this will tend to do, hang on, I dropped my pen. What this will tend to do is it will tend to make you feel that emotion of guilt more easily, more readily than you otherwise might, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead. Do we need to know anything else about this? We don't, let's release this. So um, we're doing 10 times. 
because we're releasing it. I'll do one more there. Uh, not only from you in this case, but also from your dad and his dad and all those ancestors all the way back to 1790. And also from your daughter. Did it release from everybody? It did. Okay, why don't you go ahead and stand up, move around now. Let's see how that feels. Oh, yeah, it's, it's still kind of the same right now. Uh-huh, okay. It's still the same. All right. Oh, sorry. Ah, that's okay. No worries. We don't, we're not really, we're not so much chasing symptoms here. We're really just kind of using your symptoms to kind of give us an idea. It's fun to see things improve, but sometimes things take time to improve. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things improve right away like we saw um, with uh, Samantha, right? And that was really cool. Sometimes you work and you clear imbalances and it still takes time for things to recover. Cause you know, we don't mm -hmm. develop things overnight. Typically things typically take time before they show up. So let's, uh, let's see if we can do another one though. Let's ask, is there another underlying reason, um, why and let's go back to the homepage on the body code here. Is there another underlying reason for this discomfort in your back? Mm -hmm. And so let's see what this is. Is it something on the left side of our chart? No, it's on the right side. Is it a pathogen? No. Is it a misalignment? It's a misalignment of something. Let's go there. And is it something on the left side of this chart? No. So is it something in the systems area? Is it in a skeleton? It's in the skeleton. Let's go there. And is it on the left side of this chart? No, it's in the axial skeleton. So let's go there. And is it something on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it in the vertebral column? No. So that means it's got to be in the skull. So we got all these bones in the skull. Um, is it one of these bones on the left side? No. So is it the frontal bone, mm -mm. parietal bones? No. Is it one of the temporal bones? It's the occipital bone, which is one of the one of the common bones that has trouble. We saw that I think on Samantha too. Um, so <laughs> you got a problem with your occipital bone. All right. It's not happy. So. <laughs> If we go there, we can, uh, we can ask, is there an associated imbalance that we need to decode? There is. Okay. So let's see here. Okay. Let's go back out of the homepage. And we're looking now for something that is connected with this imbalance. So what are we looking for? I don't know. Is it something on the right side of the chart? No. It's on the left side. Is it an energy? It is. Okay. We'll go there. And is it on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it post-traumatic? It is. We'll go there. Is it on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it a physical trauma? Yep, it's a physical trauma. So, okay, the plot thickens. Now, a physical trauma energy is where you, where you get hit. You take some kind of a physical blow, okay? And the energy of that physical blow, instead of just going through your body, gets stuck in your body, right? And that's going on right there. So this is a physical blow. So this can be, you know, things like it says here, a hit, car accident, illness, surgery, um, or, you know, hitting your head, getting out of a car, or just slipping and falling, whatever. Uh, does anything come to mind? Any kind of physical injury of any kind? Come, doesn't have to be anything huge or does major. Does it have to be to that part, the occipital part? I'm sorry, say that again? I'm sorry, did you say it had to be specifically to the occipital? Oh, bone? no. Mm -mm, no. Uh, no, when you have a physical trauma energy like this, the trauma could have occurred anywhere else. But these energies will oftentimes migrate in the body to some other area where maybe there's already a little weakness or something going on. Um, but yeah, you might have stubbed your toe really hard, but then the energy might have gone boop right here, and now it's affecting you there. I don't know. Yeah. So does does is there any kind of a physical injury that you had uh, that rings a bell? Um, well, I mean, I've had many physical injuries. I've broken my leg pretty bad. I've I've had operations on different things. Okay. Anything. Well, all right. Let's ask if we need to know more about this. Or the question is, is it necessary to identify more about this energy? And the answer I'm getting is a no. So under association, we can ask, is there an associated imbalance that we need to decode? And the answer is no. So 
fine. Let's go ahead and release it. Here we go. So we do three swipes with an intention to release this physical trauma energy. Okay. I think that was three. There we go. So uh, did we release that physical trauma energy? I get a yes that we did. Okay. So, and that was affecting your occipital bone. So now let's ask, is your occipital bone happy now? Yes or no? I get a yes that it is. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just nice and easy. Stand up and move around a little bit now. Walk around for a okay. little bit. And let's see how that's doing. Now, the reason I like to have people walk around when they've got some kind of a physical problem going on and we release things like this, bones are moving into new positions and muscles are balancing that weren't balanced before and things are changing, things are shifting, things are moving around. So um, that's why I like to have people walk. Go ahead and walk a little further maybe. Walk all the way over by the by your clock and then come back. <laughs> there you go. All right, cool. All right. So zero to 10, how would you rate it now compared to how it was uh, hey, doing? I'm feeling like it's maybe a bit, it's lower for sure. It's lower. Okay. Um, it's much a little bit lower. Yeah. Okay. So like we started off speed. and it was, it was an eight or a nine. Started off as a nine. Yeah. How would you rate it now? I feel like it might be about a seven at this point, somewhere in a seven. Okay, about a seven. All right, cool. Yeah. So we're making a dent in it anyway. Like I'm, I feel like I'm able to stand up a little straighter. Okay. Cool. All right, that's awesome. Good. All right, so here's the deal. Let's see. Um, let's ask: Is there another underlying? We'll go back to the homepage here, and we'll ask: Is there another? Uh, is there another underlying reason for this discomfort that you're having? Right now, I'm getting a no. Now, what that means is one of two things. It either means no, there's never going to be another imbalance that is ever going to be found about this. This is it. We're done forever. Or it may mean, well, that's all I can give you right now. There may be some other stuff, but they may need to, you know, your body may need to kind of heal and percolate for a while before those other ones will be fixable. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So, um, so let's see how you do. Sometimes, you know, when we, and, and we've, we've taken it from about a nine to a seven, which is great, right? Um, it may be, it may be that, you know, you wake up tomorrow and it's all gone. Wouldn't surprise mm -hmm. me. Okay. Wouldn't surprise me at all. But, um, mm -hmm. but let us know how you do. Okay. Okay. We'll do. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're so welcome. Great talk. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Patricia. That was fun. Thanks. Thanks. Dr. Right. Dr. You bet. See ya. All right. Cool. So that was fun. So let's see. I think we might have another volunteer. I know we were only going to go for an hour and I know I'm already over, but, um, but Hey, let me see here. Hang on just one second. Okay, here we go. And we wanted to talk to Luciana or Luciana. All right, let's see here. Trying to reach is currently unavailable. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, Luciana's going to be sad about that. Oh, wait. Almost all. Luciana, is that you? Yes, that's me. Hey, Hi, there Dr. you are. <laughs> All right, Hi. cool. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for making the time to talk to me. I really oh, appreciate it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No problem. So, um, so let's see here. Um, so, by the way, for the rest of you, here's how we do this is um, I'll come on maybe 90 minutes or an hour and do a really short Facebook Live just to announce that I'm going to be coming on to do these demos. Okay. in an hour or maybe 90 minutes or a couple of hours. And, uh, and I give you instructions on what you're supposed to do. Put in your Skype name and what your problem is, how long you've had it, how bad it is. And then our staff will contact you using Skype. And if you've got a camera and everything, uh, then you can be a volunteer. So that's how Luciana did it. And that's how I knew I was going to call her. So, uh, so Luciana, welcome to our uh, Facebook Live. And tell me... What's going on with you? Okay, um, so it's been about like two years that I've been feeling a discomfort above my stomach, 
I've been to the doctors and I have done some tests. Um, they found other stuff, but they didn't find anything that could cause um, that discomfort that I was feeling. Um, yeah. And because of the COVID-19, like some of my appointments got delayed and then mm -hmm. I, God knows when I'm going to see a doctor again. Okay. But um, well, within the past three weeks, like I have been feeling discomfort for about two years, mm -hmm. but um, in the past three weeks um, that have become a pain and it comes in waves and sometimes the pain, it stays like, like today. I woke up and I was in pain as in right now I'm in pain, like it okay. continues through like the whole day or the whole night. Sometimes okay. I can't sleep. Okay. And All that's right. what it is. All right, so let me ask you, um, right now on a zero to 10 scale, how, how would you rate this? Zero being no discomfort at all and 10 being the worst you can think of. How bad is it right now? Um, I would rate like some between seven and eight because the pain is not, it's not as strong all the time. It fluctuates. Right, right. So sometimes it's really painful. I feel like I want to cry and then just mm -hmm. kind of slow down a little bit. Okay. So it's about a seven to eight now. Yeah. Okay. And how old are you? 31. 31. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what shows up here. And just one second. Okay, so we're gonna take a moment here and I'm gonna ask for some help from up above. That's where all the healing power comes from. It doesn't come from me, it doesn't come from you. It comes from that higher power, the God who created all of us. We're all brothers and sisters in a very literal sense. And when we ask for help, uh, we get that help because um, that higher power, God, creator, source energy, however you wanna to refer to it, actually loves us. And that's why all this, you know, that's why we're here. So. So give me just a moment here, I'll ask for some help. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, is it Luciana or Luciana? Luciana. Luciana, okay. All right, Luciana, let's, uh, let's see if we, we can connect. Um, can I act as proxy for you? Yes, okay, so we're connected energetically. So let's ask this question, is there an underlying reason why you're having all of this stomach discomfort and your subconscious mind says, yes, okay. So um, now there may be several reasons, but your subconscious mind is giving us one. And so where is that one reason? Is it on the left side of our chart? It is, okay. So is it in the energies area? No. Is it uh, in circuits or systems? It is, so we'll go to circuits and systems. And is it something on the left side of this chart? No. So is it an organ imbalance or a gland imbalance or it's something in the energy body? Let's go there. So is it something on the left side of this chart? No. Uh, is it a, a chakra or a meridian? There's a meridian problem, a meridian imbalance of some kind. Uh, is it one of these main meridians? No. So it's one of these extraordinary meridians on the right side. So is it um, one of these on the left side of the chart? No. Is it the conception meridian? Okay, the con conception meridian. And I guess that kind of makes sense because this one goes from the lower lip and straight down the abdomen to the perineal area. Um, so let's see. Tell us all about what this one is for and so on, etc. cetera. Uh, we know that we found this imbalance in this um, conception meridian. So let's ask, is there an associated imbalance here that needs to be decoded? The answer is yes. So we'll go back to the home page. And uh, where is this associated imbalance? Is it on the right side? No. It's on the left side of the chart. Is it in the energies area? No. Is it in uh, circuits or systems? It is. It's in circuits or systems. Let's go there. Is it on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it a disconnection? Yes. So we'll go there. Is it something on the left side here? No. Is this a spirit out of body? No. Is it a spirit physical disconnection? Yes. Okay, so this is a spirit physical disconnection. So let me explain this, okay? In this world in which we live, we have these physical bodies. But what animates these physical bodies is our spirit body. And that's been known uh, since time out of mind, right? As, uh, and called different things depending on where you were in the world anciently prana, ki, chi, so on, 
spirit. I like to think of it as the spirit. I think if you could take your spirit out of your body and put it right next to you, it would look exactly like you in every detail. And there are countless stories of that exact phenomenon and seeing that that's the case that go back, you know, forever. So, um, so sometimes what happens is that spirit body and that physical body don't quite match up. They don't quite communicate well. And of course, um, if they detach completely, then of course, you know, you're dead, but you can be, um, you can be really out of sync between physical and spiritual the spirit and the body and the physical body. And what'll happen is you just won't feel good. Uh, you won't function very well. So let's scroll down a little bit and, um, and ask this question. Is this disconnection affecting your entire body and spirit? No. So is it affecting your abdomen? Yes. Okay. Do we need to dig any deeper into that? Not really. So, uh, so it's a spirit physical disconnection. So let me gonna make a note here. And this is actually affecting your conceptual conception uh, meridian. Okay. So let's go down and let's ask, um, we could ask if there's percentages and things, percentage of connection, but we don't need to do that. Your subconscious said we don't need to dig any deeper. But is there an associated imbalance behind this? And I'm getting a no. So here we go. We're gonna do our intention step at the very bottom. Swipe three times with a magnet or your hand on any length of the governing meridian, right? While holding the intention to reconnect the spirit and the body, okay? Uh, and let's just see how we've done. Let's ask, did we reconnect your physical body and spirit? Uh, yeah, okay, good. So in that area of your body, there was a disconnection going on. Now they're reconnected, is that true? I get a yes. Stand up and walk around for a minute now. Let's see how that feels. Uh, I don't feel any immediate difference. Okay, so zero to 10, you were at about a seven or eight. How would you rate it now? About the same. About the same, but you're feeling a difference though. Not, 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 not really. Oh, okay, I thought you said you were, you were feeling an immediate difference. No, no, not really. I okay. said, oh, we're right. Okay, that's fine, no worries. All right, so let's go back to the home page and let's ask, is there another underlying reason for uh, this discomfort? And the answer is yes. Okay, so what's the next reason? Is it on the left side of the chart? Yes. Is it in the energies area? Yes. Let's take a look here. Is it on the left side of this chart? No. So is it something in allergies or intolerances? No. Uh, is it something emotional? No. It's a reverberation of something. So we'll get, we're gonna go to reverberation there. And is it something on the left side of the chart? Yes. Uh, is it seeking heart energy? Nope. And that's formerly addictive heart energy for those of you that have the old body code. Is this a, uh, a current symptom uh, or a sickness memory? It's a current symptom. So let me explain this one. Um, like it says here, symptoms are important because they can help bring awareness of imbalance in the body. However, symptoms can sometimes be overwhelming and the body can get stuck reverberating with them, making it harder to move on. Now, um, this kind of thing, if you pass this down to your posterity, then we call it a miasm, okay? Uh, so it becomes a sickness memory, but this is a current symptom. So um, let's see, is there anything associated with this? There is, so there's something associated. Let's go back to, and let, me, let me write this down actually. Is it something on the left side? Yes. Is it an energy? Yes. Let's go there. And is it something on the left side of this chart? Yes. Uh, is it something post-traumatic? No. Is it something offensive? No. Or mental? It's a mental energy. We'll go there. And is it something on the left side of this chart? Yes. Is it a will to? It's a will to something. Okay. Will to dot, dot, dot. So let's just go down to our chart. And is it a will to something on the left? So it's in column A. And is it in one of the odd rows? Is it in row two or four? It's in row four, column A. So let's blow this up a little bit. Uh, now, for those of you that have Android phones, you can't zoom in on these yet, but we are hard at work on getting that fixed. So hopefully it'll be soon. So uh, this is a will to, is it a will to rescue? 
or a will to be rescued, or is it a will to depend on others, or a will to please others? It's closer to a will to please others, okay? Does that sound like you at all? Not really. Okay. Well, hey, I, it's working. I, I guess I do try to please a couple of people in my family, but I'm not very much a mm -hmm. pleaser, I guess. Okay. Well, let's ask if we need to know anything else about this. I get a no. So let's release this one. Okay. That was connected into the current symptoms, which is an energy. Do we need to release that or do anything with that? No. Okay. All right. Cool. Why don't you go ahead and stand up and move around a little bit now and let's see how your stomach feels. Take a deep breath. Okay. It kind of... Um Mm -hmm. The pain was a little bit more sharp, and now it's a little bit more soft, if that makes sense at all. It's a little softer now. Okay, that's okay. great. All right, cool. Well, let's go back to the home page, and let's ask, um, is there another underlying reason for this discomfort that you're, uh, that you're having? I get a yes. And uh, is it uh, on the right side of our body code chart? No, it's on the left side. Is it an energy of some kind? It is. Let's go there. And this is something on the left side of this chart. No. So is it an allergy or an intolerance or something emotional? It's something emotional. Uh, is it on the left side? Yes. Is it a trapped emotion? It is. Is it on the left side here? Yes. Is it prenatal or preconception or inherited? So you have an inherited uh, trapped emotion. Let's see what this is. So inherited trapped emotions we receive at the moment of conception from mom or dad, and they might have gotten them when they were conceived from their mom or dad, and these can go back generations sometimes. So let's see what emotion this is. Is this emotion listed in the chart here in column A? No, it's in column B. Is it in one of the odd rows? Mm -hmm. Odd row and B. Is it in row one, column B? Yep, row one, column B. So the emotions are right here. Is it effort unreceived? No. Is it heartache? No. Is it insecurity? Uh-huh. Okay, so it's an inherited emotion of insecurity and did you receive this from your mom? Yep, you got it from your mom. And did she get it from somebody earlier? Uh-huh, from her mom, yep. So it goes mom, mom, and does it go back further? Yes, how many generations? Does it go back 10 generations? Yep, 20, yep, wow. 25, no, 23, 22, 21, 21. 22, no, 21 generations. So if we say 21 generations times about 25.5 years for a generation, minus 2020 comes out to about 1484. 1484. So somebody, some ancestor of yours had a bad day. <laughs> had a really bad day. Felt really insecure. That energy was so powerful. I mean, it might not have been just one day. It could have been a whole year or maybe a whole lifetime. But that energy of insecurity was really powerful in that person's life. And so when that ancestor of yours, and was that a, was that a male? That was actually a female, okay? When that ancestor of yours conceived a child, uh, her subconscious mind decided to share that energy with that child to help that child to get through life better, right? And so that's been going down your line all of these years. So that will tend to make you feel more insecure than you otherwise might, okay? Because part of your body is already kind of resonating with that particular frequency. So do we need to know anything else about this? Not really. So uh, let's release it. Now, you don't, do you have any kids? I don't. Okay. So uh, let, let's go ahead and release this from you. So we do 10 swipes, right? Because we're releasing this from not only you, but also all of those ancestors. So let's ask that we release that from you. Uh -huh. That it also clear from your mom uh -huh, and her mom and all those other ancestors all the way back, all those 21 generations back. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Now, um, okay, cool. Stand up, move around. Let's see how that feels now compared to how it was feeling before. Okay. Um, 
it feels um, the same way that I noticed less. It's a little bit more soft and pain, but it's still pain. Okay, a little softer. Okay. So zero to 10, how would you rate the discomfort level? Like about six. It's about a six, huh? Okay, all right. So let's go back to the homepage on the body code and let's ask, all right, is there another underlying reason? Let's go to the homepage, there we go. Is there another underlying reason for this, um, this discomfort that you're having in your stomach? Yep. So this is how the body code works. You just find things, fix things, see what happens. Um, is this next imbalance here uh, listed on the left side of the chart? No. Is it a pathogen of some kind? No. Is it a misalignment of something? Yes. It's a misalignment of something. Is it something on the left side of the chart? No. Is it something in the systems area? No. Uh, is it something in the skeleton? Is something in the skeleton? Let's go there. Is it appendicular? No, it's axial. So is it something on the left side of the chart here? No. Is it a tooth? No. Is it a thoracic? Uh, is something in your thoracic cage? So let's go there. All right. Is it something on the left side of the chart here? No. Is it a true rib? No. Is it your manubrium? No. Uh, so it's actually your sternum. So the breastbone right here uh, is unhappy, imbalanced, misaligned. Let's ask, um, is there an associated imbalance that needs to be decoded? And there is. Okay, so let me make a note of this. It's funny because it's right under the external. Right under the sternum. Okay. Yeah, there's something going on here with this uh, with the sternum, but there's there's something associated. So it's not just the sternum. The sternum is kind of almost a symptom, I think, of something else. So what is that other thing? Uh, is it on the left side of the chart here? No. So is it something on the right? Is it a pathogen of some kind? Misalignment of something? It's something in nutrition and lifestyle. Let's go there. So is this something on the left side of the chart? No. Is it something nutritional? No. Uh, is it an herb or spice that you need? No. Some kind of essential oil that you need or hydration. It's, there's an essential oil that you need. Okay. Um, is that true? Yeah. So essential oils, have you ever used essential oils? Not really. Okay. Well, um, like it says here, there are extractions that capture the scent and the uh, the vibrational essence of a plant, and uh, they're very, very powerful. So we have a chart of essential oils. Now, if you happen to use um, a, a really good brand of these, like for example, DoTerra or something, you can use your, you know, you can use your own chart if you want to. We, this is kind of a generic chart, but I want to show you something really interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see what oil this is. Um, this oil that you need. Uh, do you need one of these? Yes. So this one that you need, is it in column A? No. So is it in column B? No. So it's in column C. Uh, yep. Is it in one of the odd rows? No. So is, is it in row two or four? It's in row four in column C. Let's blow that up. So it's one of these. Okay. Tangerine, tea tree, tarragon, thyme, or valerian. Let's see which one it is. I don't know. Uh, could be any of these. Is it tangerine that you need? No. Do you need tea tree? No. Tarragon, mm -mm. thyme, no, valerian. So it's valerian. So valerian essential oil. Okay, so let's see here. All right. Um, so let me tell you a little story. All right. See, you have to wrap your mind around this idea that everything is energy, right? Everything is nothing but energy when you get right down to the quantum level. Everything is energy. So uh, I was working on my daughter once, and some of you have probably told this story too, but, um, but some of you haven't heard this. Uh, this is a number of years ago, quite a few years ago, but I was, I was driving um, my car on the freeway in the middle of Utah in the desert, right, going through the desert. And I'm working on my daughter who is in uh, Seattle, and she's got a migraine headache, and she's throwing up and feeling terrible. And I tested her and found that she needed um, manganese, and uh, the, she didn't have any manganese. Manganese is, uh, you know, a trace mineral. She needed it. Her subconscious mind was telling her she needed it. So um, it was a Sunday night. Stores are closed. She doesn't have any. And I'm thinking, okay, how can I get her some mag manganese? And as I'm driving along, I'm looking at these rocks in the desert. And I'm thinking, there's got to be a lot of manganese out there in the desert. So I just kind of used my imagination and just kind of created a, a ball of manganese and then just kind of imagined, you know, 
sending that to her. And when I did that, instantly the migraine was gone, right? So what we're learning is what we're capable of doing. So what we're going to do with you right now, since you probably don't have any valerian essential oil, in a pinch, what you can do is you can give the body the frequency or the energy of that thing. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create some valerian energy, okay? We're just gonna create some valerian energy here. And all it is is just an energy frequency. When we take vitamins and minerals and things like that, we're taking them for their specific vibration because it's all just energy. So here we go. And I'm just gonna push this to you now, okay? There we go. And uh, let's see if that worked. Yeah, looks like you got it. Now, that doesn't mean that you still wouldn't wanna go out and get some valerian energy. But what I'd like you to do now, just for fun, is stand up and move around a little bit and let's see how things are feeling now compared to how they were feeling before. Um, All right, how you doing so far? I feel like it's like if the pen kind of went down a little bit to the side of my my rib cage. Okay. All right. It moved. Right. What makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I would recommend that you get some valerian essential oil, and mm -hmm. um, I can test to see where you, you know where you might want to put that. Would it, would it be a good idea to take that? Maybe put it on your skin, stomach. Feet. Yeah, I just put some on your stomach. Maybe a couple drops on your stomach. Yeah, you know, maybe once or twice a day. And uh, and there you go. So, um, all right, let's see. I think, uh, yeah, we're definitely out of time now. But uh, hopefully that will continue to help you. And um, you can come back to this um, uh, where you saw the post and you can just comment, you know, in a day or two. Yeah. Hey, here's how I'm doing. Because people want to know, right? Absolutely. People want to know how things go. And it's not unusual at all when you do this kind of work for things to start progressing and getting better. And sometimes things can get a lot better in 24, 48 hours, things like that, okay? Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're so welcome. It was really fun to talk with you. Thanks for being a guinea pig for us, okay? <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. All right, cool. Well, that was pretty fun, right? So um, those are our demos for today. And, uh, oh yeah, okay. So. Um, Christy here is saying, yes, I do this all the time with my clients. I energy, energetically send homeopathics, essential oils, flower remedies, and so on. Cool. Yeah, you can totally do that, right? And the beautiful thing about that is, um, I mean, obviously, if you can get those things, then, you know, get those things and use those things. But sometimes in a pinch, uh, this can be a way to give yourself something that you need uh, that, uh, you know, that maybe you just otherwise are going to have a hard time getting. All right. Um, so I want to say hello to all of you. And uh, we've, we've got, you know, a lot of you that were on this thing today. So, so thanks for being on. Special thanks to our volunteers today. And uh, let me share with you a couple of things here. Um, in, the, in, the, uh, in the app, if I can do that, let's see. I think I can do that here. Uh, Yeah, here we go. So um, remember that uh, when you download the Discover Healing app, and remember, we're calling it the Discover Healing app because it includes both the body code and the emotion code, and we're kind of combining it all into one. So that's why we're calling it the Discover Healing app. Um, it has the emotion code in it, which you always have available, and that's free, okay? Free download. You can use that forever. If you decide you want the body code, it's just $29 a month, okay? Uh, you get a free seven-day trial. If you own Body Code um, 2.0, then um, you get a um, you get a. There's a year where it's free, um, starting I think back in March. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, you should go ahead and download it and get it going. 
um, because there's a 12 month period there and then expires and then, you know, then you'll uh, need to start paying for it. But um, there's a lot of great stuff in here. Let me show you some of the things in here that we haven't seen today that are kind of cool that might be relevant. For example, under pathogens, we have uh, uh, not only physical pathogens, including things like prions and biofilm, but we also have uh, pathogens of energy, okay, or energetic pathogens. And so you clear those in similar ways, but a little bit different. Um, under toxicity, we've got all kinds of things that now can show up for you that otherwise wouldn't show up. The subconscious mind wouldn't have a way to really help you to find them. So things like venom and poison, that, that showed up today. I was working on somebody earlier. Um, food toxins, all of these kinds of things, sweeteners. Um, there's just so much more now in the body code than, than what there used to be. Uh, to give you an idea, for example, if you go to nutrition and lifestyle, you click on hydration. Um, well, not only can you be dehydrated because of not drinking enough water, but maybe you're not absorbing the water. Maybe the quality is not good enough. Maybe you're not utilizing it, or maybe you've got some kind of electrolyte uh, deficiency or utilization problem. We divide, uh, we've divided up magnetic fields now into distortion and deficiencies um, with two separate, um, uh, two separate places there. So um, under electromagnetic radiation, we've got lots of things here under environmental, um, you know, different kinds of pollution, air, water, plastics. So things that um, would not show up before in the body code now can show up. And so we've put everything into this new one that we've learned over the last, uh, well, what, seven years since body code 2.0 came out. If you own body code 2.0, um, you should be able to use that for the foreseeable future, as long as you have a computer and so on. Um, you probably will have access to that forever. But, um, but this new body code is really nice because it, uh, it just has so much more in it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Jalen says, can you enlarge the pick? I can't really enlarge the pick very much. Um, Kathy says, I'm so happy with being a body code practitioner. It's so awesome to be able to help. Thank you, Kathy. I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, can't wait to get back to uh, doing our live events. Uh, just really, just can't wait. I love live events. These are fun too, though. And in the meantime, you know, while we're while we're hanging out, um, we'll do these. So, um, in fact, um, we have a couple of events that are coming up. Let me see if I can uh, let me see if I can go to our Discover Healing calendar here, and maybe I can show you. If you want to be aware of what's going on, let me give me just a second here. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so if you go to discoverhealing.com and if you go over here and you click on this thing and go to events. Uh, if you drag it out a little more, I think it may actually just show you this kind of stuff on the top. Uh, yeah, here we go. So if you go to events, just click on that one. Yeah, good. Thank you. Um, Miche says an amazing system tool in order to help people. Lots of love from South Africa. Lots of love back to you. And uh, Pamela says, can you detect and heal COVID-19 with the app? I don't know. <laughs> I just work here. I mean, this app is not about, it's not about healing anything. It's just about removing the imbalances that are in uh, people's ways. In other words, we find and remove the things that interfere with the body's ability to function at its peak level, see? But I mean, if you think about it, um, if you think about, for example, this, uh, the, this COVID-19 virus, um, well, if you take a medication for that, is it the medication that heals you? Not really. Your body always ends up healing itself if you get well, right? And so uh, this is just a way to find those imbalances and get rid of those imbalances. So let's look at our upcoming events really quick. Um, we've got a webinar coming up on the 30th. These Facebook Live things, I just kind of do these randomly, okay? 
Uh, got another webinar coming up on the 6th. And then, guess what? We have a virtual Emotion Code seminar coming up on the 16th of May. Uh, so that's going to be an online one-day event. And then uh, we're doing it again on the 23rd. This was going to be our event that we were going to be doing in London, in the UK. This is actually a two-day event. And so uh, the first day we'll be doing the Emotion Code Seminar, then day two we'll be doing the Body Code and going through the whole thing. Okay? So that's going to be uh, the 23rd and 24th. And again, those are virtual. They're not, uh, we have a picture of London, but it's going to be online. We should have a picture of your computer. Um, and then, uh, let's see, June 13th, we'll be doing another event. Um, and this one, hopefully we'll be doing this one actually live and in person in Spokane. And then we've got some other events going on later in the year, July 10th uh, in Florida. And hopefully everything will be back to normal by then. And we'll be able to just go and do those events live and in person. So remember, we have practitioners uh, all over the world. And um, some of our practitioners are on this call right now. And so to find a practitioner, you can go to Discover Healing, click on the Practitioners button there. And uh, then what you can do is uh, you can zoom in on this map, okay? Uh, you can use two fingers to, to move it around. You can scroll in, and uh, if you're living in a particular area of the world, for example, you can zoom in on that area. And then what it will do is it will shrink the list of uh, people that you're looking at so that it's just to that area, okay? So, uh, so that's a fun thing that you can do if you're looking for a practitioner. Remember, if you're looking for somebody to do this on you, you don't have to find somebody that's in your town, okay? Uh, you can find somebody by looking at this map and you can get somebody that, and you might find that the ideal person for you is not even on the same side of the planet as you, but it works at a distance just as well as in person, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, remember that right now, uh, one, of the, one of the great things that you can do if you haven't done it already Become a certified practitioner because uh, that way you really learn how to use the emotion code. You start with emotion code practitioner uh, program, that program, and, uh, and then after that you can become certified in the body code also. And so um, we've got, uh, we got to update this. We've got almost 6,000 practitioners now in about 80 countries uh, of the emotion code and uh, I think about 1,500 uh, body code practitioners now also, and I think probably about 40 countries around the world. Level one is emotion code certification, level two is body code. So this is all at our website at discoverhealing.com. So um, remember also under articles here, we've got lots of great testimonials. Um, in fact, gee, we had a great testimonial that just came in a little bit ago. Maybe I can share this with you. Actually, I'll share this one with you next time, uh, or maybe I'll just post this. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Question uh, from Ingrid says, uh, London on European timing. Um, yeah, that one is going to be virtual. That was going to be May 23rd and 24th. That'll be virtual. And Ingrid says, hello, Dr. Bright. Any news on progress in emotional body code in the app and other languages? Yes, we're hard at work uh, on German and Spanish. So uh, the new body code is going to be launching in those languages soon. We have it all translated already. So the body code is translated already. We're just going through and editing and making sure that there aren't any typos and things. That's in German. Um, and uh, Spanish, I believe they've already done that translation as well. So it's, they're just rechecking that. Okay. So, uh, so yes, hang in there. We are working on it. Uh, let's see here. Chrissy says, a guy in Hungary used a pendulum to locate my husband in Alaska, who was a practitioner. Oh, he said he was drawn to him, so you never know. Right. Okay, that's interesting. Well, uh, French is going to be one of the next ones. Yeah, so thank you. So anyway, yeah, you never know. I mean, the important thing right now, I think, is to, to work on our bodies, to clear as many of these imbalances as we can, because that's how we stay healthy. And what a resource, what an unbelievably powerful resource we have in the subconscious mind of each individual that knows exactly what we need. That is the secret of this. That is uh, the life-changing, world-changing paradigm that this is really all about, that the subconscious mind of the individual knows exactly what they need with a perfect understanding. And there's no other system, no other software on earth that enables you to tie into that system 
accept the body code. That's it. So uh, work on everybody that you can. Work on your family members um, so that, uh, you know, if this virus comes along for you, you probably won't even notice it. So many people don't even notice it. And uh, hopefully you'll be one of those people too. So thanks, Karina. Thank you all. Uh, I know this went kind of long, but um, anyway, it was a lot of fun. All right, we will keep you all posted. Have a wonderful day. And uh, by the way, remember, we do have a, uh, let me show you here really fast. We have a channel on Discover Healing. Oops, let's see, Discover Healing. Okay, so you can go to that channel on Discover Healing. And uh, there it is right there. And we've got videos that we're posting. In fact, this video of this is gonna go, as soon as I'm done here, I'm posting it to our YouTube channel. You can go to our YouTube channel, you can watch it, you can see some of the other ones that we've done here, okay? So, uh, so there you go. Thanks everybody for being on today with me. This is really a lot of fun, love you all. Take care, hang in there, and we'll talk again soon, okay? See ya.